Hi, Digital Marketers. This is Faisal Amin. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will show you how to set up Google Ads conversion mm -hmm. tracking uh, for the that is for the server side tracking for purchase event. So, uh, in this video, I only focus on the server side tracking for the purchase event. Previously, I had already published lots of video about Google Ads conversion tracking, but that is the new one. I hope you can. Uh, learn lots of things about Google Ads conversion tracking. So no, no more delay. Let's get started. Um, that is our website and we want to try to set up purchase event for server side tracking and I am also preview it and you can see that our purchase event are showing in the Google Tag Assistant. We have to find out each and every data layer for the purchase event. So back to our Google Tag Manager to set up the purchase event and if you go to the Google add section and i am already set up the goals for the purchase event so if you do not know how to set up the goals then link will be the description box here you can find out how to set up google uh, ads goal so i am expanded the purchase event uh, in the goal section of google ads and here you can see the google tag setup you have a you need to connect the google ads platform with your google tech manager so here you can see the three options if you expanded the first one you have to find out the google tag id so if i am copy the id and back to google tag manager and go to new tag tag configuration and here you in the right side you can find out the google tag so i am click on it and, and paste the tag id here so i am adding the tag id on it and triggering will be the all pages and you have to uh, giving the tag name that is google tag id save it and now we have an another word that is because we are set up the server side tracking we know that our client is google analytics 4 so to set up the um, server side tracking interface on our browser side so go to the new tag and tag configuration and i'm already told you our client is google analytics 4 so i am select the google tag here we have set up two tag one is for google ads and second one for the google analytics 4 so i suggest you do not blend each and everything i have to focus on it and tag id so which tag id i have to provide on it i have to provide the google analytics 4 measurement id not the google ads tag id so go to google analytics 4 interface and copy the measurement id from here i know how to create the google analytics 4 account so you have to find out lots of video on youtube so I am copy the measurement ID from here back to Google uh, Tag Manager and paste on it. And the uh, configuration settings, we have to add in the uh, first party domain here. So I am just typing the server container URL. Here you have to add in that your custom domain or first party domain. You have an option to uh, set up first party domain or custom domain by using Google Cloud, Step.io, Tagers, whatever your choice. But in my case, I am I am pick the Step.io. So I am back to Step.io. Here you can see the domain name. I am do not create the first party domain and custom domain on it. And I also create the video about that. The link will be the description box. You can check it out from here. So I am just copy the domain. That's domain name automatically provided by step.io so i am again told you i do not create the first party domain or custom domain on it so the link will be the description box you can check it out from here so i am back to google tag manager based on it and another one is same page view that is the true and in the triggering section i am find out the all page trigger and tag will be the google tag for ga4 so save it i'm done now time to set up the main task that is the purchase event and that is also for the server side tagging so new tag configuration google analytics 4 and google analytics 4 ga4 event here also you have to put the measurement id so i will copy again and paste on it event name if you go to our tag assistant here you can see the our event name so we have to copy the event name from here and back to google tag manager so i am just right on it purchase 
and now go to event parameter we have to set up each and every event parameter on it we have to adding event parameter so we are adding that parameter so currency value transaction id tax shipping items user data dot email address user data dot phone number user data dot addresses dot first name and also i have to add user data dot addresses last name user data dot addresses dot city user data dot addresses dot country user data dot addresses dot region user data dot addresses dot postal port so one by one i have to add in the all event parameter value so i am already create all of that so if you do not know how to create it i recommended you watch the part one which link for the description box value transaction id tax i do not find out here so i am just create the tax uh, plus sign and also variable configuration that will be the data layer variable if you go to our tag assistant in data layer section so here you can see the text so e-commerce dot text e-commerce dot affiliation shipping coupon all of event parameter you can create according to the data layer so i am create on the e-commerce dot text that will be the text save it and second one is shipping so i am again create a new one data layer variable e-commerce dot shipping variable will be the shipping save it items here you have to create the items so plus sign also plus sign variable configuration that will be the um, custom javascript why if you go to our notes section uh, you can see that here we have to set up the modify items because google analytics for recommended item id name price and quantity only but if you go to the tag assistant and if you go to the items section here we have to find out the loss of event parameters that is not the necessary because we have only picked the item name item id price quantity the four of event parameter required so i have modified the items by using a custom javascript so i am copy the code from here to use the custom javascript section so goal tag manager and paste the full code on e and here we'll be adding the total items variable here you can see the items array <clears throat> here we put the total items array and variable will be the cgs modify items array for ga4 save it and we are adding the items so email we have to add in the email which we are created before phone we are adding the phone um first name last name city country region region addresses and also the post code so we are adding each and every event parameter and last finally triggering we are already created the purchase event so go to tech that is for the google ads for purchase event save it so our browser side working is done that is not the browser side tracking that is the server side tracking as a ga4 client we are set up the each and everything on the browser side so now time to create the server side so i will go to my account and go to three dot to create the server container here i have to set up server and also server create and go to manual provision tagging this port is necessary for the step.io here you can see the uh, configure container so if you edit it you have find out the edit option and you have to paste the port here which you are copying from the server container save it so again you are copy that do copy the domain name and back to google server container and in the admin section 
go to container settings and add url you have to paste the domain name and save and back to workspace now we have a work on the server container go to tag section new tag tag configuration firstly we have to add in the conversion linker and you have to tick mark accept incoming link parameters we have tick mark on it and in the trigger section you have to create the custom trigger trigger configuration custom and some event first we have to add in the built-in variable which is client name here you can see the client name and that will be the equals and our what is our client ga4 is our client so we have adding the ga4 on it and save it and that will be the ga4 client save it and save it that is the conversion linker we have to adding it now time to go to the final task we have to set up the purchase event on the server side in so new tag tag configuration and in the google ads section we have to set up google ads conversion tracking so click on it so where we find out the conversion id go to our google ads platform and here you can see the use google tag manager and find out the conversion id copy the id from it and back to google tag manager paste the conversion id again conversion level copy the conversion level copy it paste on it value currency code is not necessary for the server setting because already you have to provide in all of data in the browser settings we are just tick mark on the provided product level sales data tick mark on it and conversion linker and in the triggering section we have a work on it click on it so click the plus sign also trigger configuration that will be the custom some event and here we have to add in the event name and that will be the equals and here we have to write the event name that is purchase if you have any risk to a spelling mistake just go to tag assistant and copy the purchase event here and paste on it so trigger will be the event purchase save it and tag name will be the google ads remarketing for purchase save it and we have done all of work just submit it publish it continue workspace and go to preview section and also for the browser site we are go to preview to check out that our purchase event are working for the server site or not connect with the tag assistant and our website will be open and in the right side you can see that our tag assistant connected with the website just open a random product page to examine our event is perfectly working or not add to cart view card and proceed to check out and you have to provide each and every user information on it and finally place an order button and if you go to the purchase event here you can see that google has conversion tracking for purchase tag is fired but that is our not the main goal we have to go to the server container tag assistant in the server container tag assistant, we have to see that our Google Ads remarketing for purchase event is working perfectly. If you expanded it, here you can see that our tag is fired. And if you go to the request section, then we have to also see that our HTTP request from server post 200. That means our server side tracking working perfectly and our outgoing data and incoming data are receiving each and everything here you can see that our all event parameter phone number postal code last name first name rct and currency value tax shipping also email all of user data are receiving perfectly we have finally set up purchase event for google ads conversion tracking and that is for the server side tracking i hope in the next video i will come with the new topic so thanks for the watching